Hey y'all, it's Tuesday and I'm back and I'm better like never before. And today's video is like feminine hygiene products, you know, must have beauty things like that I just basically cannot live without. So if y'all want to see these hidden gems, then make sure y'all keep on watching and let me run the vlogmas intro. thing we have I guess I'll do hair first because I only have a few hair things so the first one is this Fantasia heat protectant spray I know y'all probably seen me use this like forever I literally cannot go without the heat protectant spray like this is something that stay in my kit no matter how many different things I try no matter how many different things I try this heat protectant is a must have okay this is a must have like even if i'm not flat ironing my hair because i know it's a heat protectant but it's a silkening straightening spray and it does really 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 good with flyaways like i just spray it on my hands and do one of these numbers it make your hair so silky when you flat iron your hair y'all like this is something y'all absolutely need in your kits okay in your beauty kit and your everyday you're ready whether you're using heat or not, like, this is literally a must, and it smells so good. I wish I could tell y'all how much this is. It's time for me to buy another bottle. Like, this is something I do not, not have. Like, I keep this in my kit at all times. The second thing for hair, I think those are the last, just these two, um, is Wild Growth. It's Wild Growth, y'all. This is $9.99 in my local beauty supply. And I do not go without this. I did the big chop in 2019. I think I showed y'all, but I'll still insert some pictures so y'all can see. But I did the big chop in 2019. And then I grew my hair really, really long for it to be just two years. And then in 2021, October. So November 2019, I did the big chop, like really low. And then in October 2021, I chopped it off again. Because I had used heat in the summertime and mind y'all, I was like tracking my growth, taking pictures every time I washed my hair and took wigs off. And my hair was growing literally like this. Like literally, I was so scared to try to big chop because everybody was like, oh, your hair grow at different rates. And you might only get an inch or two. No, baby. A year, they were saying that. No, baby, I probably got an inch or two a month. So every time I changed my hair, I just, well, I didn't care how dirty my hair was. The condition, nothing. If it needs to be rebraided, none of that matter. Literally, y'all. I just put this oil in my scalp every single time I change my wig, which is probably like every three weeks, something like that. I definitely, 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 definitely believe in wild growth. Like, this is a must have. Like, I cannot wait till my hair is in the middle of my back. I'm gonna show y'all. But yeah, like, this is just great. I love wild growth. You need it. Every girl need it. I had a bald spot grew back like that literally i had a ball spot for years and it wasn't until i did my big chop and used this that it grew back so i'm definitely a fan of wild growth i've been thinking about if i could maybe put it in like a mascara tube and use it on my eyelashes because i have not been able to grow my lashes out in years i had some extensions and i like cut my lashes off completely with scissors like just cut it straight across and <laughs> they have not grown back so i'm thinking about Seeing if I could use this on my eyelashes. I just don't want my eyes to be oily because this is an oily thing. So that's it that I have for hair. The rest is like beauty and skincare. But while I was talking about lashes, this is a must have for my kit. This is the Ulta Mascara Guard. Now, I don't use it for mascara. This is what it looks like. I buy these most of the time. But I have to admit, I bought two. And this is the second one. I still have yet to use it. The the other one's holding up real good. It's probably been like a year. I would demonstrate, but I really don't want to take this out of the box. But you just push this along your lashes like this. And you can do your eyeshadow if you wear extensions. You know, concealer, mascara, all of that buildup is really bad when you have, you know, lash extensions. So this is how I keep them clean. This is how I keep, like, shadow falling, concealer, mascara, liner, anything that I'm doing on my eyes. This gets your girl right because it protects my lashes. But this is a must-have for sure if you wear mink extensions. So now to the goods. These things, like, well, let me not act like what I just 
gay y'all when I'm really putting you girls on for real for real like this is not one of them beat around the bush videos I'm really putting y'all on because I've done my fair share of research on things and like yeah I'm really putting y'all on. I, I ain't telling y'all shit I don't know about. So, y'all already know if y'all OG subscribers, this is a product that I use to clear my baby acne, like once I have my baby. So, it's this acne stop. I have this shit going on repeat damn near. This is the, is this the 12? This is the 4 ounce. But if you get it, I think 8 ounce is like $20 and this one. Or is it 2 ounce and 4 ounce? One of them. I want to say this is the bigger one though and it's. $20 and the other one is $12. You literally don't need much. You just take a cotton ball, squirt it on there, and wipe it across your face. Like I said in previous videos, it can be used two different ways. You can use it as a chemical peel or you could just use it as a like a maintenance type of thing. Like kind of like toner. So whenever I get a pimple, I'm running straight here. When I say that thing will be flat by the morning, I promise y'all that thing will be flat by the morning. Like, don't play with it. I don't really trip too bad on the acne scarring because when this is used as a chemical peel, it literally peels right off. The discoloration peels off. I wish I didn't have no makeup on to show y'all. But y'all know, like, I've talked to y'all about this this acne product shit. Like, this shit ain't went nowhere, baby. Same old gym from 2018, okay? So, I think I started using this, like, 2017. I don't really remember, but... I love Acne Stop. I tell everybody, if you got stubborn acne, use Acne Stop. This shit's like crack in the 80s. Like, why ain't nobody even... That wasn't even a good comparison. It's like crack in the 80s for me. Why ain't nobody up on the Acne Stop? Now, I don't have one even skin tone, and I'm really trying to figure out something for that. But as far as texture and everything, chef's kiss. And another thing is two more products that um, go with the texture of my skin. So this one is the Biore Witch Hazel. This is my daily wash. I don't know if this is the same wash from the original skincare video, but I know that it's the same company. I think at the time I had like a black bottle. So I don't know if it was Witch Hazel. I want to say maybe it was charcoal. But that was a really good wash too. And then when I couldn't get that one, that's when I, I tried Witch Hazel. Um, I had cousins. My great-grandma used to use with hazel on them for acne and stuff so when i seen with hazel it's like you know i'll try it literally have not switched yet like most of these items are on my amazon subscribe and save they just come because they already know i need them this by itself like if i'm ever having texture in my skin i get in the shower and do a real good wash with this and literally go on like that like this is literally the magic combination i don't know if it's just a magic combination for me let me know in the comments if y'all try this stuff out but like literally y'all literally if y'all haven't seen my skincare video i'm gonna tag it in the comments below because you need to see it like pause this video and watch it. these two with the combination of the next item which is my freeman exfoliating gel mask last scrub this also is a gem this is my skincare routine literally if you're wondering what i use on my face after you see them pictures this is my skincare routine as far as my face goes like just this i don't put nothing else on my face like just this this has like little sugar um beads in it it's well sugar it's a sugar uh, texture let's see if i can show y'all i don't know if y'all gonna be able to see granulations of sugar is what keep the texture down like you ever seen skin look like kind of bouncy the type of skin where it's like no pores that's how my skin be looking after i use these three literally it's literally the best thing since sliced bread so let me know if y'all try these because i absolutely love my skincare routine i'm not changing it and i'm so happy that i managed to find something that worked for me because i watched countless countless and countless videos okay something is for dietary these cranberry azo cranberry urinary track health i was about i give it 20 and i had to get a shot in my butt because as a kid i was drinking so much cranberry juice like so much i mean i said i was drinking so much cranberry juice i was drinking so much soda and like my soda to water ratio and juice to water ratio was very very terrible so it came to a point where you know how you get UTIs, which is normal. Um, I had a bladder infection, so I had to get a shot in my ass. And I was wondering like why my UTI was so bad. It was like so painful. 
my stomach was in pain like everything was so painful i had to get shots in my ass so ever since then i do drink a lot of water i definitely don't drink a lot of pop like you probably see me drink pop maybe two or three times a month if that but i still don't trust myself to hold myself to drinking as much water as i should because i'm addicted to coffee so i'm always having like frappes and stuff which is just as bad as just as much sugar so i bought these cranberry um these cranberry soft gels i guess they are um for my urinary tract health they claim that one serving is equal to a glass of cranberry juice who knows but they've definitely been helping my overall urinary tract health and i think that makes the difference because i feel like my bladder has gotten so weak because of the situation so i'm always like oh my god am i gonna have a bladder leak you know i don't i think i'm too young for that i don't know if it has anything to do with age i don't know if it has anything to do with what i'm what i went through but i'm just always thinking about like bladder leaks and stuff i don't know it's just like an anxiety in the back of my head i take these to try to strengthen up strengthen up my urinary tract health so definitely 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 recommend i try to have at least like a couple glasses of cranberry juice every week so i figured this is a way easier way because i'm always like last minute running to the store you know trying to find some cranberry juice to like distract myself from coffee and stuff so i think i'll get everything i need out of these i've been doing them and so far i'm so good so let me know if y'all try them and take them but this is definitely a staple a new staple in my um health care my feminine hygiene health care now everything i have left um is down so the hoo-ha vaginal health is definitely very important it's to make us feel like a woman you know like keep us feeling girly and you know when your poopoo not good you not good if your poopoo not smelling good you not feeling good that's all i gotta say so we're gonna get into the look you know the down there stuff so i'm actually out of one of the items but i'm gonna show you the two out of the three items i bought it as a kit but i'm pretty much running out of all three at the same time which is good when i shave i use the 10 skin after shave gel no not after shave air shave gel sorry after i shave this is a brightening serum by 10 skin it's like really done up and then i'll insert a picture of the 10 skin like solution um years ago i found the 10 skin solution i was trying to figure out like what i can use you know for razor bumps like i'm really bad with shaving so I needed something that was like gonna keep that stuff to a minimum. I have really curly hair down there. Yes, I came across Ten Skin and I've literally been loving it since. But then recently with the last purchase I did, I'm like, hmm, let me try all three. And I'm definitely gonna keep doing all three. One thing about me, I'm starting to wax, but I don't like to wax my detail areas. Like that's just too much. So I still shave, like, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm saying. I shave the details. So this literally don't get no razor bumps, but what I would get razor bumps from is if in between your waxes, you're not supposed to shave or nothing and you're supposed to let your hair grow a certain length, you know, before you wax. But one thing about my hair, like I said, it's so curly that as it starts to grow back, it grows back into my skin, which everyone knows is how you get razor bumps pretty much. So I still have to maintain, you know, as my hair grow back, I have to maintain the area so I don't get scars and bumps and everything so this brightening serum is definitely good for over time you know trying to repair down there this shave gel is definitely good for not getting any bumps when you're shaving but the 10 skin solution is perfect if you do get bumps because literally like i said with the acne stop it's literally the same thing for your poo poo like by the morning that shit is gone it's flat as can be the whole bump is just flat flush with your skin you probably got to do a little extra work, leg work with getting like any scarring that you might have off. But literally, y'all, if you as long as you don't fuck with it, like pick at it and stuff, you shouldn't have no scars. But the tin skin literally is slapped by the morning. Anytime I would shave, I would just, you know, do the tin skin. And by the morning, I wouldn't have nothing to worry about. Like I said, I have been waxing. The first time I got waxed, it was terrible. I was pretty sure that my lips were off of my body and my body was bleeding. <laughs> so I said never again. So, But I loved the results that it gave me. So I figured I'd try my own wax. Best decision I've ever made. So don't laugh at how beat up my wax is. Like this wax is beat up. I need to buy a new one. But this is the Veet Sugar Wax. It's the Veet Sugar Wax. And I use it with these Amazon tissue papers 
Uh, that is actually the replacement, but of course it did come with a few, you know, wax and strips. But this is just a replacement that I found. It's like a pack of 100. Definitely a staple, but the, the star of the show is this wax. It's a sugar wax. You just pop it in the microwave for like 30 seconds, you know, stir it up. It comes with a stick that tells you like no, or if, it, if it's too hot, it lights up no, because it's temperature activated. And then if it's not, then it just don't say nothing. It's not lit up. So I love this wax. Absolutely love it. It's so easy. And when I was like scared to wax myself for real, I was able to get in the shower and rinse it right off. Like it, it um, dissolved so easily. It was, a, it's a great starter wax. But I don't see myself changing my waxes any soon, anytime soon. Sugar wax is less painful. Like I absolutely love it. I would not be going back. Girl, I pop up my phone, watch a YouTube video, listen to something, and just get to. The hardest part is really like not trying to go easy on yourself because you gotta pull it, baby. You gotta pull it. You gotta see those roots and just get it over with. Really, so easy. I recommend everyone to do it. Um, and waxes are like sixty to eighty dollars or a hundred dollars. Yeah, no. This is actually eight ninety seven, I think, at Walmart, and I've been using it since July. So. I give it 10 stars. Waxing myself is like the best thing ever and I'm never going back to shaving like the top or you know going into anybody else to wax. Um, but it's definitely been helping the fact that I've been waxing, the fact that I'm using these products that I showed you. Like it's, it got my cuckoo on like <laughs> okay this thing i'm ready to show somebody okay y'all have to get that fresh wax and you be ready to show somebody like uh-uh somebody gotta see this somebody gotta feel this my baby daddy hate when i get a new wax you already know <laughs> talk is fucking cheap he probably be like bitch because i'll be i'll be telling him when i do it child he probably be like girl go sit your ass down somewhere trying to get ate up like a snack <laughs> like a meal baby okay i'm telling you gonna get ate down and another thing that's gonna get you ate down is the shea moisture mango body butter oh. i wish y'all could smell this through the camera lord i smell it i ain't even opened it yet it literally somebody used it and, and why would they please tell me why would you dig your hands in my my butter like that I done had this butter for a while, and now it's almost at the bottom. This way you can't let people use your shit. But, yeah, it smells so good. After I done got that fresh wax, I butter myself down with some shea butter. That thing be soft and juicy. It be doing everything it needs to do. <laughs> okay, I'm telling y'all, if y'all want to get eight off the bone, y'all need this shea butter. It's from Walmart. I think it was like $11 or something like that. Um, hopefully, they still make it. I actually caught it on sale because... I think they had, I was working there at the time and they did like a repackaging. So I was able to get it for a little cheaper. Back to the shaving things. This is another thing that I use to maintain my private area. The Shea Moisture Detox Hand and Body Scrub. I heard about this from my cousin because she's of a brighter skin tone. She said that when she shaved, she had like red bumps, you know, like ingrown hair bumps or whatever and she used this and it was gone so that's what made me try it i love this it got like a minty smell it's african water mint and ginger with activated charcoal and it's for congested and dull skin and you as you can imagine your bikini line is probably congested because of you know the um razor bumps and things like that so that's definitely a staple i love to use that before i get out the shower it's like it's, you know how you shower in lotion? That's like my lotion and stuff for when I get out the shower. Like It makes my skin so buttery and smooth and moisturized that I use that after I've washed up, after I did all of the other things. I use that and that's like my top coat. But of course, y'all know I'm coming after that with the shea butter. Like, your girl be smelling good. <laughs> Let's just fucking know your girl be smelling good. I can't wait to get me a man because he gonna let old woman. See, they're going to love it, okay? And then the last thing for this video is the Tree Huts Shea Sugar Scrub. This one is coconut lime. As y'all can see, I killed it. This is what it looked like. But as y'all can see, I killed it. I love these body scrubs. This is like the top coat when I got the shower for the rest of my body. That's like detoxifying, you know, like after I done waxed and shaved and then put my poo-poo through some things. 
I'm going in with that because it's going to make it smooth like a baby. But as far as the rest of my body, y'all see it is practically gone. As for the rest of my body, I'm doing it with this. Especially like um, sneaky link days. And you want to smell good. You done did your body scrub. You done put your mango on. Your face looking good. Like y'all, I've literally given y'all the kits. <laughs> okay? Y'all don't need nothing else if y'all got these things. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Like body A1. Your sneaky link going to be on you real bad. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's pretty much it for my must-have feminine products. Um, let me know in the comment section below what you try, what you use, what you've seen, what you've heard, anything. Just let me know in the comment section below. Start a conversation. What else is there really to say? Go get ready for your sneaky link. <laughs> Thank you all for watching this video. If y'all are enjoying Vlogmas, let me know something. Because I'm having so much fun doing it. I definitely see you all in the next video. And...